Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is John House from Mooresville, North Carolina. Again, you're watching House Fishing Adventures. Just wanted to throw this video together quickly for you today. I'm out in the garage. It's kind of dark in here, but there's a reason for it. I purchased the Yak Power uh, button lights and then also a 360 LED light and um, have it wired up currently outside of the boat. Just wanted to see what it would look like um, before I started drilling holes and that kind of stuff. So I wanted to give you a tour of how that looks and how it works. Um, not 100% set on if I'm going to keep it yet. I have some other lights or another option coming uh, at the end of next week that I want to check out uh, before I install these uh, completely. But I do have them, like I said, rigged up for uh, me and for you to take a look at to see if it's something that you want to install in your kayak. So let me throw a headlamp on here real quick and I'll show you how it's rigged up and then we'll go from there. Okay, as you'll see on the kayak, right now I just have them taped in place. I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what they would look like. But these are the Yak Power button lights. Um, they come in a two pack. Unfortunately, they don't make a red and green pack. They make two red, two green. And then I'll show you what I want from there. But they're just taped in place right now. And the nice thing about the Yak Power, if you can see that, nice thing about the Yak Power is they got plenty of lead. And then they actually come down and with a uh, three and a half millimeter like headphone jack, they plug into an SAE plug. Um, and that's great. Um, you know, they, they both plug into that, then you just run another SAE plug into your power source and go from there. I bought these off of Amazon. They don't exactly match up, but that's an easy fix. Um, but so there's the two front navigation lights. I also installed uh, two blue cabin lights, if you can see that there. And uh, I just wanted to see what they would look like. So my buddy Mark Linden with Slow Boat Fishing um, from California, he said he used to go out on the boat and the blue lights were made, it made it pretty easy to see in the dark um, and didn't kill your eyes. So I went with blue. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on if I'm gonna keep these yet. Um, and then the other thing that I did um, on that same power source is I went to Amazon and I got this 360 light. Um, I was using uh, the Yak Attack um, battery operated light here. Whoops, sorry. Uh, battery operated light there. Um, works perfectly fine. You do just have to couple, throw in a few uh, AA batteries every couple tournaments. Um, the thing that I don't like about that is, you know, once sunrise happens, then that runs all day long before you get back to the um, boat ramp to turn it off. So, um, like I said, it's just a few AA batteries. It's not going to break the bank or anything. Um, but. Um, that's my only downfall. So I got a hardwired light here on the old town. Like I said, this is in the same uh, category. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it. So it's just temporarily rigged right now. But um, basically I wired all this up uh, to this three toggle switch panel right here um, that would control all three lights. And I would install that right here. Uh, behind this mesh so it would fit perfectly right there i'd be able to control it from my seat and um, we'll go from there so i'll turn off the lights cut the lights on one at a time so we can sh show you what they look like and then um, that's really all it is so again you know the fronts go into this A sae plug the mids go into this A sae plug and then the back goes into an sae plug you wire it to the toggle switches and then run an sae into your power box this is the homemade power box that I made uh, several months ago. Look back through the previous videos and I'm sure you'll be able to check it out. But uh, give me a minute. I'll cut the lights off and we'll take a look at the lights. All right. As you'll see, the only light in here is the um, toggle switches that I have there on the seat. Nothing else is lit up at this time. Um, so this first switch right here, we'll flip on. That's going to control the navigation lights. And you can see how bright they are just here in the garage. Um, no, they'd, they'd be uh, obviously in the same spot on both sides and and um, mounted in there nicely. But this, again, this is just a reference to see if I like them. Um, so the, that's the navigation lights. And we'll come back here and we'll cut those down. 
kick on the cabin lights. Those are sweet. That's probably the best part about them for me. Um, provides just enough light if you were to have a fish. And you caught it in the dark, you'd be able to have enough light, get it measured, and get it back in the water safely. And then the last toggle switch is your 360 light. And that sucker puts off some light. Um, so there's that. If you want to see all three of them on it together. Uh, let's see if I pull this out. You can see a little bit of the 360 light cabin lights and that. All right, so, like I said, nothing uh, about this video is meant to be fancy or professional or anything like that. It's just a uh, quick video uh, to show you show you guys um, how I would rig it if I do intend to keep them. Um, all in all, I think it's going to be a pretty cool setup if I do. Um, if not, then so be it. Maybe on the next kayak, we'll have to see. But um, like I said, it's all in um, with doing it my way and not buying the entire React Power system. I probably got $120 in it. Um, so it's nothing that's going to be crazy. Um, but um, interested to see in, um, the, the alternative this coming next week as well, just to see um, the difference in lighting and if it will better fit my needs. But um, again, thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate your support. If you would, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, share this video with your friends and uh, get the word out there. You don't have to buy the entire Yak Power system um, to control their lights. Um, you know, some people are brand specific and like that. Um, but if you're bowling on a budget, hey, um, there's cheaper ways to do it. So anyways, Hope you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends and um, be on the lookout for the next video and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.